Hello, and welcome back to our Motion tutorial series. Today, we'll cover how to set up and manage both your external and internal meetings using Motion. We'll also dive into how to sync your external calendars for seamless scheduling with your team. Let's get started. Section one, how Motion works with your calendar provider. Let's talk about how Motion syncs with your external calendars like Google, Microsoft, or Apple. Motion is not a calendar provider itself. It's an intelligent assistant that integrates with your existing calendars. What makes this really great is that you can connect all your calendars to Motion and Motion will display them all in one single beautiful UI. For example, I have my work calendar connected to Motion, which is my main calendar, where Motion schedules my tasks. But I also have my personal Gmail and iCloud calendars connected to Motion as well. This way, if a friend invites me to lunch or I have a doctor's appointment, Motion automatically knows about them and it can schedule around those events as well. This one fact helps me manage my time super effectively as I can go from work-life balance to work-life synergy. Motion automatically knows when I have free time based on my work calendar and my personal calendars. However, it keeps my personal information private so no one at my company can see any of my personal events. Now, let's talk about the My Calendars section. These calendars are used by Motion's algorithm to figure out when you are busy or free. So you want to add all calendars that represent how you spend your time under My Calendars. You do not want to accidentally add someone else's calendar under my calendar. One thing I love in particular about this is how easy it is to create events that Motion can see. For example, say a friend texts me, launch tomorrow at two. My iPhone automatically lets me create an event with one click. And because I connected my iCloud calendar to Motion, it automatically shows up in Motion's UI. And it blocks out that time from being used for tasks. Now let's talk about how Motion works with external calendars. Motion pulls in all your events and meetings from any external calendar you've connected to Motion. And then it reflects the sharing settings that you've already set up. So if you share your Google Calendar with a colleague, Motion will mirror that visibility. That means you'll be able to see in Motion's UI that person's calendar so you can schedule meetings. One common question we hear often is, how can I see my team member's calendar? Motion reflects your external calendar settings. So if you can't see your teammate's calendar in Motion, you will need to set that up externally first with your Google provider, your Outlook provider, or your iCloud provider. For example, let's say Bob and both use Google Calendar. Right now, Bob can see Sarah's calendar, but Sarah can't see Bob's. Since Motion reflects external calendar sharing settings, Bob and Sarah will need to share their calendars with each other through their calendar provider first for them to sync to Motion. Section two. Now let's talk about free versus busy events. One common question we get is the difference between a busy event and a free event and how that relates to how Motion schedules tasks. A free event is an event that shows up on the calendar but does not block it. This means that you will show up as free at that time. A free event is ignored for auto-scheduling purposes and it is shown as free time on your booking list. Let's see an example. If I go here in my calendar and I create an event on Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., I can call this free event and I can set this visibility as free and I create the event you'll see that Motion does not reschedule these tasks. Now let's talk about busy events. A busy event shows up on the calendar and blocks it. This means that it shows up as blocked time. Tasks will not be auto scheduled to overlap busy events. This is a common mistake that some people make when traveling for work. Setting an all day or multi-day event as busy prevents Motion from scheduling tasks on those days. Okay, let's take a look at how that works. I'm gonna create an event right here. I'm gonna call it busy event. I'm gonna leave it as busy. I'll click Create, and let's see what Motion does. As you can see, Motion rescheduled my tasks to fit around that busy event. The free event, it still has a task scheduled over it. Let's talk about all-day events for a second. If I schedule an all-day event right here by clicking All Day, back to Yes, and I leave it as free, let's call it Free All-Day Event, and I create it, you'll see that it shows up up here, but nothing gets rescheduled. Now let's try the same thing on Tuesday. I will create a busy event and I'm going to set the visibility to busy and I'll create it. As you can see, Motion shaded the UX for that day with stripe lines and it rescheduled all tasks to the next day. One more thing to note is that free events show up in white and busy events show up shaded. One more thing I want to show you about events is you can change the color of them by just clicking it, clicking on the color picker and changing the color. As soon as I save it, now the busy event is green. Section three, scheduling internal meetings. Let's start by learning how to schedule internal meetings with your team inside Motion. This process helps you find the best meeting types without conflicting schedule. In the calendar tab in Motion, on the right side, you'll see the search teammate section. Here, you can search for a colleague and overlay their calendar with yours. This allows you to see their availability, making scheduling much easier. Let's take a look. I'm gonna search for Gareth, and you will see that Gareth's calendar appears here in yellow. How do I know that? I'm gonna that's the agenda, and I see that Gareth right here is in yellow. As you can see, 
he's going to be a PTO on Friday, and any meetings that overlap between the two of us show up with overlapping lines. For example, or one on one right here shows up with green because that's the color on my calendar, and it shows up on yellow because that's the color that Gareth shows up in. Creating an event is easy. Once you find a suitable time, you just click and drag to create an event. You can change the color, for example, because this is a one on one, and I like to have my one on ones in green. And you can choose whether you want to meet via Zoom, Google Meet, a phone number, or a custom location. You can also meet through Microsoft Teams or Skype if your account supports that. Motion integrates with all these tools. So if you've connected an account that supports Google Meet, you will see the Google Meet option. If you've connected an account that supports Microsoft Teams or Skype, you will see those options as well. You can also add a physical location to the meeting and you can decide in which calendar you want to create this event. So for example, if I want to create this event on my family calendar in iCloud, I can select that here and we will create that event right there. There's a few more things that you can do when you're creating an event. You can set it to repeat and set up the recurrence, or you can add travel time. By using Motion's calendar as your default scheduling tool, you make sure that everyone's aligned and available. And remember, this calendar integrates with your tasks, so all your tasks and events are in the same yard. Section four, scheduling external meetings. In this section, we'll focus on scheduling external meetings by using Motion's booking link. This feature lets you send a link to someone, allowing them to schedule a meeting with you based on your availability. Let's dive in and set this up step by step. Let's head to the calendar tab and click on the booking links button. Let's click on create a new booking link and let's set up our booking link. I'm gonna use my work hour schedule. I'm gonna set up a buffer time of 15 minutes so I can prevent back-to-back -back meetings. In here, you can set up the attendance requirements. Duration will be the default duration for this link and you can add different duration options. For example, 30 minutes and one hour. Location, you can set up different locations here like Google Meet, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams or Skype if that's something that your account supports. You can set up also a custom location in which you can just paste the Zoom link that you've created somewhere else. You can also send people a reminder email before the meeting so you can improve the no-show rates. All right, I'm gonna create the booking page. And now when I go back to the calendar, I can see a couple of booking links right here. So let's walk through them. First, this is the booking page that we just created. I can copy this link. Let's click on 30 minutes and you'll see that the link was copied successfully. Let's see how this looks like on the web browser. Once my NVT clicks on that link, they will see something like this, where they can schedule time with me for a 30 minute duration. Booking a meeting with me is as easy as selecting a slot, putting a name, an email, adding any guests, and I'll click on schedule. All right, so now the event is scheduled on Monday, September 23rd from 9.15 to 9.45. Let's go back to motion and see what happens. As you can see, this event right here got scheduled from 9.15 to 9.45 on Monday, September 23rd. Now let's look at one more functionality of booking links. I'm gonna click back on booking links right here. I'm gonna create a what time link. When I do that, I have a few options. I can select the duration, optional MVTs that I wanna add to the meeting, the meeting host, and a message. I can also click here on clickable time slots, and I can select the preferred time that I wanna have that meeting with someone. For example, these four, and I get this message right here that I can copy and send to someone on an email or a message somewhere and they can click directly into one of these times and schedule the meeting with you. This makes scheduling things like interviews or client meeting very easy as you can immediately share on an email when you wanna meet with someone. Last functionality I wanna show you with the booking link is by clicking on this three dot button. You can click this embed on website button and Motion produces HTML that you can embed on your own website. So if you're running a business or you want people to find you on your website and book time with you, this is the perfect way to do it. Now you've learned all about Motion's calendar capabilities. You've learned how Motion integrates with all your external calendar providers, and you've learned how easy it is to schedule both external and internal meetings. And by bringing all your calendars together under one roof, Motion keeps you productive and takes you from work-life balance to work-life synergy. Thanks for watching and happy scheduling. Bye-bye.